Hey guys, welcome back to Crafting Princesses. I am so excited because this is the first Christmas tutorial of the season and I have so many ideas to get out. For this tutorial, I did draw a sketch of what I want my final look to be. Um, and so sometimes I will do this. If I just have a vision, I like to draw it out so that I can make a, like minor adjustments as I go along. And um, obviously I will make some changes as I am going through the construction of the dress because maybe certain things won't fit or what have you, but this is just a basic idea of what I want to accomplish. I highly recommend to sketch these out, especially if you're a beginner and you're not comfortable with designing as you go along. So for the first part of the design, you want to cut out your Minnie Mouse head. I'm using a template that I had drawn by hand a long time ago, but if you don't want to draw one by hand, you can definitely print one offline and use that. And I'm going to be using a black glitter craft foam sheet, which you can find these at your local craft store or even Walmart. And they are the Silly Winks brand, I will show you here. They're a dollar a sheet, so very affordable and come in all different kinds of colors. So just trace out your head and then cut that out. I have my Minnie Mouse head all cut out and I want to cover the bottom portion of the head with a red glitter craft foam sheet but I want it to be in a wavy design. So to get that look I'm just going to flip it over, take my sharpie and draw out a wavy line and then cut out that entire piece of glitter craft foam sheet along that squiggly line as well. So then I am now comparing that to the front and seeing where I want to glue this down. <coughs> Excuse me. And I want it to go about halfway up from the bottom. So I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue along the edges of that wavy line to make sure that I get all those edges down. And then put the rest of my hot glue on the bottom half of the actual Minnie Mouse head. So now you can place the red piece on top. And then once you have that glued down, just flip it over and trim around the edges so that it's the same exact shape as the black piece. That is all trimmed down now and I'm going to use a white rick rack trim to cover uh, between the black and the red piece and follow along that squiggle. Okay, so that's all covered. Now the little hill in the middle isn't as prominent as I wanted it to be, so you can um, make yours a little deeper, but I do like the way this one turned out. Um, so it just gives it a little bit of, I didn't want it to be a straight line across. Now I'm taking a gold rhinestone mesh, which I purchased a spool of this at Hobby Lobby, um, and I'm going to outline the entire top portion of the head. When I'm working with sharp corners, I like to start with longer sides first. So right here I'm starting with the ear and then I will go back and add um, some rhinestones to that little, that little piece of black right below it. So I just do a little bit at a time, put a thin strip of hot glue down, and then use my fingers to shape the rhinestone mesh around it. I've glued down one ear and then I will do the second ear. Then I'll go back with a smaller piece of the rhinestone mesh and add it to the center and the sides. Moving on to the bow, I'm not doing the typical bow that I've done on like my previous Minnie Mouse dress tutorial. So I'm going to be doing um, this perfect cute little bow. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. So I'm using this black construction paper template and I will trace this onto my red glitter craft foam sheet so I can have a red glitter bow. And I made my template using my We Are Memory Keepers 123 punch board. I recently got this. It makes envelopes, bows, and boxes out of um, paper. I love it, so I find any reason to use it. So I made my templates using that. Let me know if you want my, um, like a tutorial or a impression on that board as a beginner because I'm not really involved in the world of paper crafts but will be will be I have my pieces cut out so now it's time to construct the bow so I'm going to flip that larger piece 
over, put some hot glue in the center and glue down one side of the bow. Then, um, and also make sure you're lining up your edges. So these, that board um, makes it so that they're cut perfectly and they will line up and match up perfectly. Which I love. And then you'll just glue this entire piece to that smaller cutout and that will line up in the center as well. I also recently got uh, the We Are Memory Keepers ABC punch board in the larger normal um, 3x5 size and I love that too. I want to make like banners and stuff like that. I'm hoping to do some other kind of DIY videos for you guys on things other than tutus. Um, <clears throat> so let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions or if you want to see anything in particular as far as a DIY craft video. To cover the center of the bow, I'm just going to use a white 3 8 inch grove grain ribbon or you can also use the same glitter craft foam sheet if you wish. I'm adding some more of that gold rhinestone mesh to the center of my bow just to cover up the majority of the white. And then I'm going to add a little jingle bell to the middle. <coughs> okay, so first I add the rhinestone mesh. Now that part isn't, you don't have to do that part, but I like every single piece to sparkle that I can get. Um, so I'm taking this little package of jingle bells that I have. They're not very big. Um, and then I'm also taking just a piece of crochet thread excuse me and I'm going to tie this on now the reason I'm tying it first because I'm also going to add hot glue as well so it doesn't slide all over the place but I'm tying it just to make it extra secure because um, otherwise I'd be afraid that the hot glue wouldn't be enough to hold it down that um, it would it could potentially be too heavy and fall off so I'm just tying it first and then I will add some hot glue to the front to reinforce that. I flipped it over to the front. I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue behind that bell and then press down so that it stays in the middle of the bow. So you see if it was just the hot glue by itself, I just feel like it could fall off a lot easier, which is why I like to tie it down first. There she is, looking so cute. I actually want to make some hair clips out of these now. Um, so I'm going to make some hair, some little hair clips. And just glue that down to the center of your Minnie Mouse head. For the next part of the design, I'm making the belt. So I cut out about an inch wide strip of the black glitter craft foam sheet and then a smaller rectangle out of a gold color. And then I just cut out with an X-Acto knife a smaller square in the center and glue that down to the middle. Okay, seriously, I love this. I will leave a link in the description box below to two other tutorials I have showing how I added my ribbon. Um, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I wanna focus on the design. So for the bottom layer, I used a one and a half inch wide emerald green satin ribbon from Paper Mart. And then for the top layer, I used a seven eighths inch gold ribbon and I got this on AliExpress. Now, keep in mind anything you order from there can take about a month to get it. I've been holding on to this ribbon and just hadn't come up with a design where I wanted to use it before so this worked out perfect for this dress. I will leave a link for the AliExpress app down below as well. Now this gold ribbon really makes the tool curl which I love. So when you're fixing the the ruffles or the um, curls you can put the green and the gold together but I actually like the way the gold ribbon is making it sit on top of that bottom layer. If I refer back to my sketched out design, um, I'll show you there is a change that I need to make. I had originally drawn this gold detail on top, but I realized that with the size of the Minnie Mouse head and the belt, I wouldn't have enough room to add that. So I can show you here what I mean. Um, and that's what I mean about just making adjustments as you go along. So if you did want to add something like that to the top, then your Minnie Mouse head would have to be a lot smaller. But I really wanted that to be the focal point of the dress. So I'm going to just do the belt 
and the Minnie Mouse head. First things first, I'm going to glue down my Minnie Mouse head to start with and then I will position everything else based around that. So I'm taking a solid black piece of felt that I cut out to be the same shape and I'm going to place that on the inside and then I glued down the Minnie Mouse head on top of it. I show this method in all of my other tutorials on how I just glue um, things onto my crochet tops. Then the next step I'm going to take here is adding my straps. I'm using the same green satin ribbon and I'm just going to do a halter strap for this. I will leave a link in the description box below. I have a whole video on three different strap styles and any of those would work for this dress. So I've just added some halter straps to this and next I will be adding my belt. I did also rhinestone the edges of this belt buckle just like I did for the Minnie Mouse ears. And then I cut out a piece of black felt the same size as the belt and I'm going to place this black felt underneath the crochet top and then glue the belt on the outside right on top of it. So I have my strip of black felt underneath the crochet top. I just did it from the bottom of the dress. Um, and then I'm going to start in the middle. So if I'm taking my belt here, I want to line up the belt buckle with the bow. And so to start this, I'm just going to put some hot glue on the back of the center of the belt. And then once I have that glue down just on that one spot, you want to press down firmly through the crochet top so that it reaches the felt that's underneath. So press down firmly for about a minute before you move on to the sides. But once that is glued down, <coughs> then you can continue gluing on both of the sides until it's all the way down. And she's all finished. I did add an additional detail to the straps. I just added some rhinestone mesh. You could also do bows if you want, but I felt like that would be too cluttered considering everything that's going on with the Minnie Mouse head itself. Um, these are perfect for trips to Disneyland during the Christmas season. This is the bottom of it. It's super full and fluffy. Uh, and I just loved decorating this Minnie Mouse head. It really um, opens the door for different designs. And I now I have millions of ideas for other Minnie Mouse inspired designs. If you do ever want to place an order with me, I will leave a link to my Facebook page down below. It's also in my channel description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do have other Christmas tutorials coming out soon. So don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more.